first knew something was wrong when I had little tiny pinpoint bruises, which I now know are petechiae. All of a sudden, there's something wrong with you when you've been healthy all your life. I never even had the chicken pox as a kid. I went over to the hospital, had the tests done, came home, and um, went to bed, a little nervous, and that's when the phone rang, and I was told that I needed to go to the emergency room right away, and I spent two, three days there before they decided that it was ITP. One of the first things I did was get on the internet. I came across a website dedicated to ITP called itppeople.com. I was like, thank God somebody else heard of this. There are other people, I'm not alone. I got most of my support from family. It was hard though because they didn't understand and they didn't know what to say, what to do, because at this point nothing makes you feel better. You're scared and no one can fix it for you. The most difficult part living with ITP I think the, a good description of it is it's a roller coaster. You're up and down, up and down, constantly going for blood tests, planning the treatments, scheduling doctor's appointments, trying not to miss work. That's where your insurance money comes from. You don't want to upset them. You worry about losing your job because you're sick now. What I would have liked to been told when I was first diagnosed is, this is not a death sentence. This does not mean that you can't live a normal life. I've still been able to go on vacation. I've gone to Mexico twice. I've gone parasailing. I've got a wonderful supportive boyfriend. I'm sure he gets frustrated sometimes with the emotional roller coaster, but uh, he's still there and that's what's important. I'm not going to stop my life because I have a blood disorder. Maybe difficult at first. You're going to have to make some decisions. Some people say, you know, okay, if my spleen being removed is going to fix it, it's your body. You make the decisions. Your doctor can't make them for you. It's up to you ultimately. If I had to use one word to describe dealing with ITP, is determination. You gotta be determined not to let it get you down and not to let it beat you.